Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Ghoom Ketu is an improvised name that loosely translates as a star that returns home. The star here is an aspiring writer who comes from a UP village to Mumbai chasing his Bollywood dream. Ghoom Ketu has a master's degree in Hindi literature and a great ambition to tell stories, but he invariably ends up writing scripts with titles like Khuni Bathro. When he doesn't get a job in the local newspaper named Gudgudi, he decides to run away from his overbearing family and unleash his genius on the film industry. He has little going for him except his cheerful enthusiasm, and yet he manages to make a dent, sort of. The best part of Bhoom Ketu are the sequences in the village, Mahona. Writer-director Pushpendra Nath Misra creates a detailed world filled with lovable eccentric characters. Raghubir Yadav plays Ghoom Ketu's father a man with a ferocious temper given to blustering that is unintentionally comical. If Captain Haddock from Tintin Comics was reborn in an Indian village, he might be Dadda. The angrier Dadda gets, the more you want to laugh. Ira Arun plays Ghoom Ketu's beloved Santobua who encourages him to run away. There's a hilarious scene in which she prays that Ghoom Ketu's potential rivals, including Salim Javed, get a creative block and can't come up with anything. Swanand Kirkire plays his sullen, unmarried uncle Guddan Chacha and Brijendra Kala is reliably good as the chief reporter at Gudgudi. He haughtily tells Ghoom Ketu that it isn't easy to be a writer and then promptly hands him a book that he has authored on how to become a Bollywood writer in 30 days. These people and this world are vibrant and authentic. The language, accents, relationships will feel familiar to anyone with a passing connection to UP. <laughs> From the debate on what needs to be cooked, parval or matar, to the way Santo Boa reprimands her brothers while fanning them as they eat, to the practical advice she gives Ghoom Ketu's abandoned wife. Santo Boa is a standout and Ila Arun plays her with gusto. Watch her in a scene in which Ghoom Ketu is narrating a horror story to her and she pretends to be scared because she doesn't want to break his heart. This scene reminded me of that all-time classic scene in Pyar Kie Ja in which Mehmood, playing an aspiring film director, narrates a horror story to his father played by Om Prakash. The sound effects made by Mehmood are just unforgettable. Misra comes nowhere close to recreating that. But the bigger problem is that he falters in the Mumbai portions of the film. There is nothing fresh in his take on Bollywood. A slew of cameos including Amitabh Bachchan, Ranveer Singh and Sunakshi Sinha can't lift the lacklustre writing. The film was made in 2015, so the actors look different. Anurag Kashyap plays, not very well I should add, a corrupt cop named Badlani who is entrusted with the task of finding Ghoom Ketu. Except that Badlani doesn't even have a photograph of the missing man, so he doesn't know where to begin. This threat should have yielded far more laughter than it does. The story of an outsider in Bollywood isn't exactly new, so Mistra attempts to spice it up by being formally inventive. Characters break the fourth wall and address us directly. There's a countdown because Ghoom Ketu gives himself 30 days to make it, while Badlani has 30 days to find him. The narrative switches between past and present. One sequence plays out like a black and white silent film. But the various stylistic flourishes can't prop up the screenplay, which is just too scattered to hold our attention. Nawazuddin Siddiqui as the naive but ambitious Ghoom Ketu is charming. I enjoyed his gaudy shirts and love for little things like a pumice stone that he cleans his heels with. It's a fun character, but the film doesn't match its sparkle. It remains sweet, but slight. The truth is that a film on a streaming platform needs to deliver far more than a film in a theatre. Because on a streaming platform, there are just too many choices and it's too easy for a viewer to switch. So filmmakers and content creators will have to aim a little higher. Not bad, just won't cut it anymore. You can watch Chrome Ketu on Z5. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website filmcompanion.in.